What's up guys, Thomas back with another Tech Tip Tuesday and today we're talking about wheel alignments. Okay, so last week we installed the new Faction Fab FR spec coilovers and yesterday we took the car into the alignment shop to get alignment because, you know, we changed the entire suspension and everything's going to be wonky. So instead of destroying our tires like you would if you kept driving the car, we went and got a car aligned like you should. So if you get coilovers, definitely get an alignment. So with that PSA out of there, um, let's go and talk about the three different alignment specs. We have caster, we have camber, and we have tow. So starting out with caster, caster is the angle of the steering axis. So not all steering axes are vertical, they're kind of raked back a little bit. Our 8.6 has a caster angle of six degrees. So it's six degrees back, like towards the rear of the car. Um, an extreme example of caster would be a motorcycle chopper where the front wheel is like way in front of the, the, the rider. And that's, that's like way, that's the crazy amount of caster, but the wheel is so far away, so the angle back is a lot so caster is the the thing that when you let go of the wheel the wheel goes back to center which we're moving forward so that's caster it's not changed often like ours is going to be set at six and we didn't change it because we don't really need to and it's not camber and tow are usually the things that people change first when they want to change the vehicle dynamics of driving so let's move on now camber on the other hand looks cool and we can see it and it's much more talked about because people like to go hella flush or just get better handling on the street or on, especially on the track and camber is the angle in or out of the wheels when it's pointed in that's negative camber when it's pointed out that's positive camber and positive camber for most of us is pretty stupid nobody wants it unless you're like into drag racing but no one we're not drag racing with these cars don't kid yourself but the reason why negative camber is better for handling is because when you take a turn and you're loading up the outside tires the tire the bottom of the tire that wants contact patch with the ground it's going to kind of slide in so to get a better contact patch you angle the wheel so then when it kind of squeezes in uh you're going to have a flat contact patch so the other side is going to have more positive camber, but load's not on that side. This side, if we're turning this way, is the important side. So that's why we have negative camber, and it also looks cool. So that's camber. We asked our alignment shop to get two and a half degrees of negative camber in the front, and we asked them for two in the rear for like daily driviness and uh, autocross benefits. But um, something's wrong with the driver's side. We can't get as much camber in it, so we're going to put some camber bolts in it and see if we can fix that. Um, cause they're only able to get, this is our alignment sheet. They're only able to get 1.3 degrees of ne negative camber in the left side and only one degree in the right side. So we need more camber. Now the last one is toe and a toe alignment is the one that's most crucial for tire wear. If you get this one wrong, it's going to ruin your tires pretty bad. So especially get get toe right, take it to a specialist, make sure they get it done right. But if you want to, if we have ours set to zero toe, right? We don't have a preference whether it's in or out. So both front and rear are set at zero toe, so they're straight forward, right? Um, but you can, if you want to tweak the handling of the car, you can get them to toe in a little bit, and toe in will increase straight line, like higher speed stability. And if you have it towed out, it's gonna increase initial turn in. So like you can have quicker turn in response if it's towed out a little bit, but ours is just set to zero. However, you can tweak it however you want. Um, if you do it a lot of autocross, maybe you want a little bit of toe out so you can get into those corners a little bit faster. But if you're maybe doing a track day and you, you want to go fast, you want it to be stable, or you're just driving on the highway or you don't really care, you can go zero or you can go a little bit of toe in. So those are all of them in a nutshell short and simple. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to send us an email at sales at ft86speedfactory.com. You still have a chance to win the IRP short shifter um, and the new products of August video. Write down what you want to see in the newest Tech Tip Tuesday videos. Um, we're going to randomly choose a winner in the next tech or the next new products video. So new products of September. So you still have a chance to win. You got a couple weeks for that. So um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. And I'll see you in the next video.